Summer is far from over, so that means we still have a whole bunch of date nights coming up. So we're going to do a date night fragrance list. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Summer here. Yes, we're doing date night fragrances summer edition. Yes. I haven't done a date night video in a minute, but alas, I have 10 fragrances I'm going to share. I'm excited about it because they are not all necessarily in the same family. And some of these I was surprised that I would put on here, but they were jumping out at me. And that's how I make my list. Whatever screams to me, whatever speaks to me get on the list that's how it works so as always lipstick of the day today everyone this is from mac and this is mac spirit which is a nudie deep mauve type of color let me know what you think in the comments below and as always details on everything on the face will be in the description box below as always so you don't have to ask questions about it next up we have fragrance of the day and this is a long time og of a date night fragrance this is still that girl all these years later and this is none other than mfk's baccarat rouge 540 i was missing this fragrance i used to wear this all the time as you can see the dent in it is no joke but alas yes that is the fragrance of the day i was missing you and yes i still love this fragrance to this day and fragrance of the day again is mfk's baccarat rouge 540 the edp version and now let's get into these date night fragrances for summer the first fragrance we want to talk about, this one I'm super shocked about because I remember seeing it in Sephora and I'm like, ah, everybody's making a whole lot of hoopla over this scent, but whatever. Got a sample of it in one of my Sephora orders and I said, oh, I see why now. And therefore I upgraded it to the full size bottle. And this right here is from Sol de Janeiro and this is Charosa number 62, the EDP. Because of course we know the Bum Bum Cream and the Body Mist, but the perfume in particular is what I got a sample of. This is what convinced me it is worth the hype. This is delicious. You all, it has main notes. Y'all, we have pistachio, there's almond in here, heliotrope jasmine petals, and there's also vanilla and salted caramel and sandalwood in here. But in a nutshell, this is a nutty, caramelly, sweet fragrance is what this is. And you can't go wrong with smelling sweet and edible. I mean, it's a gourmand is what it is. And that always works for date night. And in particular, so de Janeiro fragrances are really meant to be in the summer. They say this is like the scent of the summer. That's their whole branding and things. And I have to agree with that. But in particular, this one is amazing for date night because it makes someone wants to be near you. It makes people want to get close to you. So it is a hit for date night. I have worn this for date night and I can verify this is a winner <laughs> it turns you into a walking breathing snack so nobody is mad at that so we had to start the list out y'all with soda janeiro Charosa number 62. now this next fragrance has been in my collection for over six months at this point i think i've had it for a minute and this is one it just screams date night it just does especially once you hear the notes of it y'all and this is from byron parfums and this is mula mula yes i've shown this one on the channel before in the past it's been a minute so I talked about it, but for this video, we had to bring out Mula Mula again, you all. Let me tell you these notes and you'll be like, yeah, I see why. So we have caramel, we have peach, we have strawberry in here, right? Mm -hmm. We have raspberry, we have ginger, we got pink pepper, labdanum. We also have vanilla musk and agar wood and patchouli to round it out. But let me tell you something, the fruity notes and the caramel are the star of this show. So you smell like peaches, strawberry and caramel with that base of that oud, that's what it is. So. That's why I say this is a date night scent because it's fruity, but it still got some oomph and it leaves a scent trail that this just screams main character energy and you're going to shut it down for that date night. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, you got heels on for this, like your tall heels, them heels you don't wear every day. Mm -hmm. With this fragrance, they command that type of attention with the outfit. It just needed. <laughs> and that again, you all, is from Byron Parfums and this is Moolah Moola. This is fruity sexy is what it is. <laughs> Talk about an unexpected, amazing summer date night fragrance. This is one that's been in my collection for a few years now at this point. This is from the house of Tiziana Terenzi, you all, and this is Borea. Yes, Borea is so slept on. I know when it comes to this line, we hear about Kirke, we hear about Deluxe, but hear me out. Borea needs to be talked about more in particular for the summer time. This is the real star because Oh, the trail on this. You know anything about Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. They are always beast mode. They leave a scent trail. There's a huge scent bubble around you. You will be noticed. Please believe that. So if you're trying to get some attention, Berea is the way to go. Let me get into the notes, y'all. Coconut, pear. We have plum. We got almond in here too, y'all. We got jasmine, musk, rose, tuberose, freesia, lily of the valley, magnolia, and iris. And we also have sandalwood, vanilla, oak moss, and musk in here. But just to know, it's the top notes especially it is the coconut in here you do get the plum the almond note does push through as well 
And then I get like the vanilla and sandalwood in the base. So this is one that's kind of a summery scent, but it's a floral take on it. The coconut is what makes it summery. So this is one the almond too gives the character. So this doesn't smell like your everyday summer fragrance. And this was actually a blind buy for me. But when I saw the notes and I love almond, I love plum too. This is a scent that is still airy because there's the, it has a powderiness to it because of the almond and the heliotrope in here, floral notes. But there's still a sex appeal to this. There just is. This is an unexpected sexy. This is a real dainty sexy in my opinion. So that's why I like Borea. Like I enjoy her. And I also feel like she's so slipped on because she's not overtly fruity. She's not overtly summery, but she's subtle summery in my opinion. So I love her. And that's why she's been a favorite for summertime in my opinion. So that again is Tiziana Terenzi's Borea. Now this next one, y'all already knew was gonna be on this list because I've been talking about it all summer. This is from the house of Sarah Baker and this is Peach's Revenge. I've actually already done its full dedicated review. Definitely check that out. But y'all main notes for sure, there's peach, there's amaretto in here, there's cinnamon, there's guava in here. So this is a fruity fragrance, but it's a boozy fragrance. And there's also a lot of spices in here too. So that's why this is one that I think is better for summer nighttime because it's fruity but it's spicy and in my opinion it's just something about spices and summertime like evenings that just work well together so for that reason i like that and then hey we all love a good boozy note <laughs> it's always fun for date night i'm just saying because normally there's some cocktails involved and whatnot well i'll say this in my date nights with head elf it's gonna be some cocktails involved that's how we are <laughs> for the last that is sarah baker's peaches revenge now sometimes your date nights can be on the earlier end or it might be your breezy situation more outdoor you kind of just want to smell fresher you don't want nothing that's too thick because depending on how hot it is and I totally understand it because we have had some very hot days here sometimes you want to smell still fruity still sexy but more on the fresh side and in my opinion this next one y'all is the ticket this is Killian's Moonlight in Heaven I've talked about this one as a summer scent before this one Killian really did it big with this one in my opinion because the star of this fragrance is mango but it's a freshy mango it's a freshy mango and there's tonka bean in here too y'all gorgeous this is so pretty and this one actually is perfectly unisex but to me you know i like to look i like to wear it as a lady i think the ladies killed this one especially but guys you know if you want a fruitier scent that's not overly sweet not doing too much but again it's on the fresher side guys this can be your date night scent too so this is one y'all can share if you want to <laughs> but last killian's moonlight in heaven for when i want it fruity but still fresh that's when I'm gonna reach for this one. Mm -hmm. Definitely check it out, y'all. Now this next one is a OG. This is a fragrance that a lot of us have, especially if you have been in the fragrance community any type of time, more so over two years. You probably already have this one in your collection and this is one that is still a stunner for date night. This from the house of Nishane and this is 100 Silent Ways. If you all recall, this fragrance made my tried and true summer fragrance video and that is for the reason. This one is gonna do what it needs to do for date night. So y'all, there's tuberose, there's mandarin, there's peach in here. There's white jasmine, gardenia, and orris, and then there's also vanilla, sandalwood, and veteran here. It is the peach note. It's the peach note. The florals are in here too, but they're not doing too much. They're well blended. This is sweet. This is really, really sweet, y'all. It's fruity and sweet. That creamy sandalwood in here is like, it just blends it all to perfection. And also this is an extract of perfume and this is one that lasts all night. You do not have to bathe in it. It does what it needs to do. It's going, it's in there for the long haul. So that's another reason why I enjoy this one. And it turns so many hits. I already have a full dedicated review up on the channel about 100 Silent Ways, but this is one I cannot recommend enough. This is another one of the fragrances that as you can see, I wear it a lot and I have a huge collection and this one has a sizable dent for me. So yeah. 100 Silent Ways, she's still that girl for date night. <laughs> now this next one is a newer release and this is one I haven't heard a lot of people talk about, of course, cause it's probably new. So it still needs some time to get some traction. But this is one I think is a star for date night. I really, really do. This is from the house of Memo Paris, you all. And this is their newer release. This is Cappadocia right here. This right here is supposed to be a saffron based fragrance and boy is it, let me tell y'all. His main notes, y'all, of saffron, there's sandalwood, and there's myrrh in here. 
this is one as I wear it, it starts out spicy, but then over time it becomes creamy and sweet because there's also vanilla in the scent and it just smooths everything out. I've worn this fragrance multiple times and this one leaves a scent trail and it does turn heads. So that is why for that reason, this is a saffron balm that people gonna notice you in this. So this is one that's going to get attention. It's not super loud, but this is one again that rides the wave of the wind around you. It just really does. So that's why I say that I think people are sleeping on Cappadocia, y'all. But if you are a saffron lover, oh, you got to check this one out. You have to because there is so much saffron in this scent. They did not let up on this fragrance. And then the Merton here, that just adds an extra level of oomph to it, in my opinion. So that again is Memo Paris' Cappadocia. Now this next fragrance I have been on a journey with. It has taken time, but now I do love it because you all know when I first reviewed this scent, I was like, eh, it's okay. But now I'm here for it. Now I've had it for over a year now, almost pushing two. This right here is from Gold Food and Banks and this is Sunset Hour. You need an easy reach, easy reach, quick throw on. Maybe it's like a last minute spur of the moment date and you just need something like to grab and go. This one, mm -hmm. this one. This one would have had a sunset hour in my opinion. It goes well with like a happy hour date. <laughs> That's why I say quick reach, last minute situation, but fun. This is that type of scent y'all in my opinion. There's raspberry in here, there's peach, ginger, sandalwood, cashmere wood, fruity cocktail is what this is. Fruity juicy cocktail and it has a zing in there because of the ginger. It's an easy reach. Now this one is on the lighter side, it's more of a lighter wear. That's why I say this is a good grab and go fragrance because you don't, when you're like, I don't know, but I just want it to work, but I don't want it to overwhelm me at the same time or the person I'm going out with, sunset hour. I think it's really good for that. <laughs> So yes, go for them banks of sunset hour. Uh, I have to say you have redeemed yourself in my eyes because you're good for date night. <laughs> now this next fragrance, y'all should have known this was going to be on here because I've been talking about it all summer. And this is from the House of Juice Box Perfumes and this is Karaoke Heart. This right here is summer in a bottle is what it is. And in particular, it'd be great for date night. It just really will be. So y'all, there's lemon, there's pineapple, there's mango. There's peony, there's rum in here, and yes, there is a load of Ambroxan in this fragrance. I've already done this dedicated review, so definitely check it out. You have to like Ambroxan to enjoy this scent, but in my opinion, the fruitier notes up top and that rum really do shine. So this is a good time. In a bottle is what it is. So say if you're like going to like, say like a salsa club or something like that, that type of date, I think this scent would be good for that because this is a fun scent that kind of is like, requires like an activity, not just sitting per se. That's just kind of how I feel about karaoke heart. Cause it's fun. It's like a music theme brand. So that's how I think about this scent. But last, Juice Box's karaoke heart. I cannot recommend this scent enough for summer 2024. It's just good y'all, it just really is. <laughs> and then we're gonna round things out. Last fragrance y'all. This is from the House of Parfums de Marlin. Now in the past and normally I would do Oriana, which I still think Oriana is a summer fragrance. But if you all saw my top five fragrances for summer, you will notice a certain fragrance that normally I see people say is a fall fragrance. I think it's wonderful for summer. And in this case, summer date night. We're talking about Parfums de Marly Saffronade. This scent right here, because it's rich, but it also still has the tropical notes in this fragrance. It makes it great for date night. So y'all, there's pear in here, there's orange, Pedigree. There's also Ylang Ylang, which is a summer flower. I'm just saying, well, not summer, tropical flower. Let me say that. Jasmine Sandbag. And then we also have Amber, Vanilla, and Sandalwood in here. There's still a transparency to this, so it's not so thick or it's overwhelming and you gotta put it away to cold weather. It's a juicy and tropical floral fragrance to me. And this is one that I have enjoyed wearing for date night. This is one that's actually a crowd pleaser too. So that's another reason why I say to go with this one because it's not hard. Like orange blossom, people tend to like orange blossom. Like so, when you think about date night, whatnot, not, it's not just you liking the fragrance, but you also wanna smell pleasant to the person you're going out with. So that's kind of always the theme. I have to say, I was shocked, but Saffronade? Saffronade fits the bill because with that orange blossom in here is still sweet. It's still sweet in here and interesting enough, even though the juice can look intimidating, but this is actually fun to wear. It's more grown than Oriana for sure. It's definitely more grown. Oriana's more playful. This is more grown up, more sophisticated. So I had to round the list out with Parfums de Marley Saffronade. So all right, everyone, that wraps up my list of date night fragrances for summer. Let me know what you think. Um, what fragrances are you wearing for date night? What would be like your top three per se? Drop it in the comments below. I will read them and respond when I can. But until next time, I will catch you on the next video. Bye y'all.